the difference between computer science and information technology? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over the difference between a CS degree and an IT degree, along with the different responsibilities, skills, job roles and titles, salaries and career outlook for each one of these. And by the end of the video, you will have a wonderful understanding of what pathway is best for you and you and your own personality traits. And so if you're not in the tech field, it can be really hard to navigate all of this information on computer science and information technology. What exactly is the difference between computer science and information technology? Well, computer science focuses more on the abstract mathematical models behind everything. It's very math and algorithm intensive because you need to understand that in order to build and create upon those systems to solve problems. That and then IT focuses on delivering these solutions that computer science majors <laughs> create and implementing them into businesses. And that means monitoring, configuring, troubleshooting, and maintaining those systems. So without information technology graduates, the computer science graduate stuff would never be implemented into business and it'd be kind of pointless to have a solution that wasn't monitored and implemented correctly. Some of the most common IT systems people will work on are networks, so Cisco, Juniper, systems, systems, clouds, databases, cloud databases, and hardware. Computer science graduates can kind of get away with having poor communication skills. Actually, I think the worse communication skills you have, probably the better technically you are. IT information technology specialists and people who go into this field have to have excellent interpersonal skills because you're going to be dealing with the customer um, and interacting with the customer a lot. But what exactly are the responsibilities that go within each one of these? What are computer science responsibilities and what are information technology responsibilities? Information technology responsibilities will be working closely with businesses to make sure they actually need that solution and that it's implemented in the most efficient way possible. If a business needs a hundred different types of computers, they're not going to be the ones developing the software, the operating system. They're going to be the ones that are maintaining those, those uh, software systems by pushing updates or installing software. Go ahead and press the like button right now. And some of the common systems that computer science majors will work with would be like Python, XML, um, Java, artificial intelligence, um, SQL, although you can do that in IT, and some common IT systems are going to be configuring networks, system administration, cloud implementation, uh, hardware, fixing hardware, some responsibility of computer science. A lot of the times they'll be updating, maintaining, and debugging existing software code, or maybe they'll be implementing a in-house solution for their employees. What are some traits between computer scientists and information technology specialists? So computer scientists are gonna be more technically facing. So they're going to need an absolute fascination with how complex machines work and then how they can change it. So it's not a job that you're gonna be interfacing with people a lot. You also need a really good understanding of complex mathematics and algorithms because that's what you're going to be using to solve problems. You have to be able to focus for a really long time. You must be detail oriented because one mistake in your mathematical equation can ruin the entire thing and take months or even years to fix. Some common information technology skills are going to be just basic coding, so maybe a little bit of Python. You're going to need to know some PowerShell or Linux, scripting. Those are really easy to pick up. You're going to need to know how complex systems work together, and that includes how everything works together. So how does how do servers, databases, networks, and desktop users all work together? And then you have to have really good business skills and leadership skills. You also have to have very good interpersonal skills because you're going to be talking to the customer a lot. This is probably the number one trait of anyone in IT and that is talking to people. So if you just absolutely despise talking to people, check out computer science because that may be more suited for you. Presentation abilities, so the ability to brief high ranking officials or in your organization. What are the different types of jobs 
computer science versus information technology sets you up for. There are so many roles that I don't, if, that I don't want to limit your scope of what you can do. So I'm just putting that as a disclaimer that beyond these six that I list, there are thousands of various jobs that these will set you up. And by doing your own research is really going to help you. For job title for a computer science graduate would be software developer. These, the average pay is 105,000, but also take that with a grain of salt because you can make $500,000 if you go work for Facebook and you're really good. Also, you could become a test engineer, that works closely with user interfaces and making sure that everything that the software developers built has works and is good. They manually test the products and the functioning of the products to make sure they are all right. It's not as technical, say, as a software developer, but if you want to get into tech, it's a great place to start test engineer. That average pay is 71,000. Again, take that with a grain of salt. Job in computer science would be like a developer. So blockchain is going to be huge. It's all about distributed, distributed systems. Some common information technology careers, which I'm more familiar with are network engineers and administrators. These people are going to be configuring and monitoring the network. There's also system administrators and cloud administrators. And these people are going to be managing end user devices. System administrators are a little bit outdated and they're probably gonna be replaced by cloud administrators and engineers. So I would look more into the cloud pathway than I would the system administrator pathway and you'll be managing cloud, uh, provisioning, deprovisioning, cloud users, Active Directory, things of that sort. Database administrator and manage SQL servers. Again, this is going more into the cloud. However, cloud still has databases that need to be managed and some good uh, places to start would be Microsoft Azure as you can get a free SQL server there. And now what does the career look for information technology and computer science graduates? So the Bureau of Labor Statistics kind of lumped both of these into one and it is projected to increase 12% and the average salary is $86,000. However, the Bureau of Labor Statistics is missing a lot of jobs and it doesn't go into granular detail of everything that exists. It's a very broad view of everything and I'm here to tell you that it's going to be all of the job, really. Uh, computer science and information technology specialist degrees are going to earn up to 40% more money in their lifetime than other type of graduates. Now you don't need a degree to get into these career fields. You can check out my other videos. However, a degree is helpful. Maybe when the field becomes more developed, it will have more stringent requirements, but right now it's kind of just the wild, wild west. The, the world is your oyster. You'll have low competition and high demand jobs, meaning that you will be able to pick up a job at the highest amount of pay, whether you choose information technology or if you choose computer science. Some personality traits that are best for one. If you really enjoy being in your head, abstract, complex theories, then, and, and you're highly introverted, computer science is for you because you don't even have to have really good communication skills to be effective. As an information technology, you're really going to be customer interacting. So you're going to be interacting with the customer a lot. You're going to be implementing businesses needs for technology. And this is great if you enjoy business and you enjoy technology because it's both worlds which I really like and personally I would hate to be a computer science major because that's just really math heavy. Also in information technology, you don't have to be math heavy. That's like a hidden secret. You don't have to be good at math. So if you hate math, then IT is for you. If you love math, then computer science is most likely for you. I absolutely love business and so IT was honestly just the clear choice for me. You have it. I hope you enjoyed my video about the difference between computer science and information technology. And also please comment, like, and subscribe if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you soon. Thanks.